Well, 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 look at what we have here. Fresh meat, it looks like. Fourth bed's open, Shorty. No, no, Freezer. Be nice. We don't want to scare a new friend away. Both of you, stop. Aw, come on, V. We're just having some fun with them. Your fun is going to draw attention. Now shut up. The doctor ain't even around. Stop being paranoid. I swear if he comes over here, I will kill the both of you myself. <laughs> they don't even give us forks to eat with. How do you plan on killing us? <clears throat> oh, right. Electric quit being a wuss. You know she ain't gonna do anything. You want to bet, Freezer bitch? Right. You're one of the newbies, yeah. Keep your head down. Listen to what we say. Don't get in trouble unless you want to fall victim to the doctor's treatments. If you really want to be put through days upon days of torture, then you can be my guest. Electric, shut your ass up! My, oh my. Such foul language coming from here. Could it be my favorite patient? Go away. You wound me so I could just drop dead right in this very spot. <laughs> She's not talking to you. We have been over this. Leave. Ah, very well. I can see when I am not wanted. I shall leave. However, before I go, Vortex, I look forward to our tests tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. That was the bastard who fucked us all over. Dr. Adrian Eberstark. <laughs> they don't know who he is. They're lucky. Let me break it down for you, newbie. Our wonderful doctor isn't actually a doctor. He's a fucking psycho. He's the reason we're in this hellhole in the first place. Claims it keeps us off the streets and shit like that. I'd rather be on the streets than be his lab rat. Well, just be glad that we don't have to deal with- ah! That. At least, not anymore. Who do you think is in there this time? Probably the blonde kid. Which one, V? There's like 50 of them. Wit. <sighs> think he's gonna be another success? For his sake. I hope not. It'd be better if he died. Why the fuck would you say that? Listen, Shorty! You become a success, you get put through more shit than what Wit is dealing with. What even is his treatment? From what Quake told me, it was going to be coercive persuasion. They're brainwashing him. Yeah. The working theory, or so I've heard, is to make him the smartest person to ever exist. Kind of like what they did with Stone in the... weights. Freezer, there wasn't anything you could do. She was on the way out anyway. Shut up! She... She didn't have to. It was either she died or got put through what we're going through right now. Do you really think she would have lasted? Anyways, you got a tat, newbie? Alright, come here. Stop struggling, damn it. Okay. 3CH0. Echo, huh? Well, guess we're calling you Echo. Well, do you remember your name? Didn't think so. None of us remember our names, so we came up with names based on our tats. Mine has E13CT4IC. Electric is my name. FR33ZE4. Or Fraser. V0RT3X. Vortex. You get the idea. 
Who in the fuck knows? The doctor assigns the number. Well, given the shit he's done to us, makes sense. Yeah. Twisted sense. Mm. V? I'm fine. Just wish he would give up already. The day he gives up is the day hell freezes over. I know. Log entry 453, date is the 19th of April, 2034. Still no progress on communication with the patient known as Vortex. My staff has informed me that she has refused to speak ever since she was deemed a success. She still limits herself to communicating exclusively in sign language, using her cellmate as a translator. The translation seemed to be reliable, at least, though that is a cold comfort at best. As justification, she states that I, uh, quote unquote, only need her to scream, not speak, referring to her new enhancements. Childish. She'd be grateful I gave her such a gift. But I digress. She remains unable to summon her screams at will. However, I have faith that tomorrow's tests might just change that. Anyways, what's your story, Shorty? Please don't fucking tell me you zoned out. Sounds like red vision to me. Yeah, the funky bullshit that happens when we turn into monsters. That's bullshit. You wouldn't be in our block unless you have- Watch it, Sparky. Don't need you short-circuiting the entire block. <clears throat> Again? Alright, but why else would they be here? Space? More people are being brought in every day. This is probably temporary until they figure their shit out. Dillweed, they never run out of space. People are constantly dying or being sent away. You'd think they'd be shut down by now. The day they shut down is the day we die. Because we're the only ones keeping the funding for this place coming. Well, aren't I honored? Shh, not so loud, dipstick. Fuck off, you black hole. Yeah, this is normal. V never wants the doctor over here, and he always comes over when he hears a conversation. Can't exactly stop talking since it's the only thing keeping us slightly sane. And since the doctor is literally down the hall from us, he can hear what we say if we're too loud. Kid, what the fuck? What wouldn't she have against him? Shut your trap, Freezer Girl. That ain't your story to tell. And I sure as hell ain't saying anything when that prick could be waiting to come down here again and hear it. Well, it's clear to me that Shorty over here is oblivious to what's going on. They don't get what you have against the fucker down the hall. Vortex, chill out. V, chill. Freezer! I! Get your lazy prick ass over here and do your fucking job! Step aside. You savages need to stop riling up Vortex outside of testing. Do you want to bring down the place keeping you off the street? This wasn't even us! I do not wish to hear your excuses. Should have known keeping her of others would cause unwanted headaches. However, I am willing to give you one more chance. If you rile her up again, all of you will be sent to cell block beta. Permanently. Do I make myself abundantly clear? Crystal. Yeah. Well? Good. Now then. The sedative should let up in about five minutes. We wouldn't want any unnecessary problems, would we? No, Doctor. That's what I thought. Do give Vortex my regard when she wakes up. I bid you all adieu. That fucking prick! I wanna strangle him! Freezer, make like your name and chill the fuck out. Do you have any idea what just happened? 
Shorty, that was our last warning. If we set her off again, the doc's going to deem us compromising to her already fragile state and will boot us to the beta blocks. And trust me when I say, we go there, that's instant death. Exactly. So when V wakes up, we're not going to talk about the doctor, we're not going to talk about her bullshit, we're not going to aggravate her at all. Unless she directly asks us. Listen here, you little shit. V was the doctor's first success, and he intends to make her a weapon of mass destruction. If even the slightest thing that he deems compromising happens to her, he's going to take it out on us. Because like it or not, we're her protectors. And if we don't protect her, it's our own necks. You're lucky we don't beat the shit out of you for almost getting us killed. You said the shit that triggered her. Don't you go doing it too. That's the last thing we need. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah, don't mention it. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? You alive, V? Barely. Did I go red again? Yeah, you did. And we're on our last strike. Oh, shit. We're not fucking up again. Please, don't. I don't want to be stuck with him. We know. Alright. Lights out. <sighs> Finally. Don't cause any trouble. How are we- Freezer. Please. Fine. Hey, V? Mm-hmm. Be careful tomorrow, okay? Yeah, yeah.